Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way to the Cave of the Forlorn. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And I did absolutely nothing. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to open up our map and go all the way over to the Bestial Sanctum and give Garank the five death route that we have got. Go ahead and hand him the five death route. This is gonna finish his side quest. It is, it is all consumed. Still, I am not sated. Not nearly sated. <laughs> What it is to sin? Will things never be the same again? <sighs> Tarnished. My thanks for thy long labor. But I have done all I can in this land. Henceforth, mine appetite shall be my sole companion. Farewell. So for giving him the five death route, we get an ancient dragon smithing stone. We also get Garank's beast claw. We get the beast claw great hammer. Stone of Garank. And then we get the regular Beast Claw. So he's going to go ahead and disappear because his quest line is finished. Let's go ahead and go back over here to the hidden path of the Halig Tree. Let's go back to our map. We're going to put a couple of markers down. Our first marker is going to be about here. Our second marker is going to be about here. Our third marker is going to be about here. And then our last one will be right over here. Now before we start making our way to any of these markers, we're going to hop on Torrent. We're going to veer off to the right here, and we're going to grab a couple of items. Get a golden rune 13, and then just hug the cliffside, turn around, go up this slope. Grab ourselves a golden rune 11. And then we can hop down and head over to the first marker. First marker is going to be a grace. The second marker is just going to give us a good reference of where we're going. We want to go straight north because we're going to be picking up a Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 23. Make sure you get that. This place is a nightmare. I absolutely despise coming through here just because it's very hard to see and there's no way to get rid of the snow, mist, fog, whatever you want to call it. Do your best to dodge those guys, by the way. And then we're going to start heading to marker number three, which is going to be northwest. Northwest. 
It's going to be another grace. And then before we head over to the fourth marker, we're going to get an invasion. Let's go ahead and drink your flask. And I want to do this invasion first because it's going to give us a somber ancient smithing dragon stone. And that will allow us to fully upgrade our Bloodhound's Fang. So it's just Anastasia. We fought her before. She's not hard. Like I said, for killing her, we get a somber ancient dragon smithing stone, which is a mouthful. Over there, you can see a silver scarab running around. We're not going to bother with it right now. That thing is super annoying to get. We will end up getting it. I think I'm going to have to get a big AOE attack to help get that one. For now, we're going to pick up the map, the concentrated, not concentrated, consecrated snowfield. Come behind the tree, get a smithing stone eight, and then we're going to head north. North, northwest, into this town here. We're going to pick up another grace. Go ahead and light that. And then we're going to head over to the round table hold. I'll see everybody over there. Let's go max out our Bloodhound's Fang real fast. Well, I took you no matter to lay out your own. Now we're going to fast travel again. And this time, we're going to fast travel over to the Consecrated Snowfield. Let's go to our map. We're going to put a couple of markers down. Our first marker is going to be right here. Our second marker is going to be right over here. Our third marker is going to be right over here. The fourth one is going to be right here. And then lastly, our fifth one is going to be right over here. Let's make our way to the first marker. Stop off Torrent. Buff our weapon. We're going to be fighting a duelist. At this point, they should not be very hard. So for killing the duelist, we get the Rotten Battle Hammer along with the Rotten Duelist Helmet. That Rotten Battle Hammer is amazing if you're a strength build. Not only does it do a lot of damage, but it has Scarlet Rot build up on it. So if you have a friend that has an extra one that isn't using it, you can dual wield that and really get some damage output on it. Right, just grabbing all the golden runes. Now let's start making our way to the second marker. So right here, we have a silver scarab. Go ahead and get ourselves a somber eight. And we're gonna start heading to the third marker. Which is just going to be a golden seed, and we've already maxed out our flasks, so it doesn't really matter. Head over to the fourth marker. Right here, we're going to kill the guy holding the chest. 
He's going to give us a golden rune 13. And then what we want to do is come up here until it starts sloping upward. And go into this catacomb. Go ahead and light this grace. Be really careful. We're going to have an imp kind of hanging out up top here. Almost forgot. Really careful for the pillar. And then off to the left, I have another imp. I'm going to use our bow to get that imp's attention. Lure him over here. Pop up. Get a rejuvenating bolus. Come over here. Activate that summoning pool. And then we're going to pull out our bow and shoot the pillar. And then we're going to switch out our bows to the great bow for just a moment. We'll switch back in just a second. But it just makes it easier killing this imp. Now we can switch back over to our regular longbow. Now up top. We have one of those really annoying cats. Just be really careful, it's gonna slam down at you. And that is as about as well as it can go. Go ahead and hit that pillar again. Right here we're going to use our bow to lure out these imps. There's five in all. Or four, not five. I apologize. But you don't want to be fighting four imps at the same time. Another one over here. One more right here. And then lastly, right here is the last thing. And then all of that for a Grave Glove Wart 9. Almost ran right in front of that. That would have been bad. So before we continue forward, we're going to shoot this pillar. Just be careful if you're backing up because now there's going to be frostbite. Also be careful of the imp that's right here. This one up top, that's super annoying. And then we see one of those cat guys. We're not even going to fight it. We're just going to run in here, grab the items, and then run away.
Definitely not worth fighting. Come underneath the stairs. We're going to be fighting a clean rot knight. Careful of the imp. Still got me. Still got me. Even though I had my shield out. So what I like to do here is number one, grab this Grave Glove Wart 9, and then I run in here and then run away. Send this pillar up. Make sure you're not standing right in front of it or you're gonna get frostbitten. And then just let it do our job for us. Okay, we can send it back down. Grab a Ghost Glove Wart 9. And then right here, what I do is I stand back just a little bit and then I roll onto that pillar and then not jump off. Send it back down there for a second. Which way is it going? It's going the wrong way. It normally doesn't happen like that. Send it back down there. You want to make sure you send it back down. Okay, let's try this again. So stand back just a little bit. And then hop on. It's a really annoying pillar, if I'm going to be honest. But do your best. Grab ourselves some goodies. Sit that back down. And then we can hop down and run straight to the boss. This boss is going to be another duelist. Not a hard boss fight. Yeah, super easy. So for killing him, you get two great grave glove warts amazing drop and you also get the rotten gravekeeper cloak let's go ahead and put a couple more markers down our first marker is going to be right here our second marker is going to be about over here third marker is going to be right here and then our fourth one will be right here now let's go ahead and fast travel back over to the consecrated snowfield. Hop on torrent. We're going to be going straight for a carriage. It's so easy to get lost in this area. So just do your best everybody. That was like legitimately the worst case scenario. <laughs> I survived somehow.
Yeah, I don't know how I survived that, but I did. Thankfully. So all that for a St. Trina's torch. Not really the greatest item in the world, but you gotta get every goodie, right? We don't want to go that way. We want to go a little more east. We want to make sure that we're going up and not further down, or we're just going to head back out of the non-foggy area here, or blizzard-like area, I suppose. Right over here, get a hefty bone, and then get a golden rune nine, and then right over here... We're going to hop up top here. Just keep jumping up as best as you can. It's not really that easy. Oh, get up there, Torrent. Come on. What is going on? Get rid of that marker. Oh, good lord. <laughs> All that for a somber smithing eight. And now what we want to do is we want to face east. We're going to be hopping down northeast. Do not hop down southeast or you're going to fall to your death. And nobody likes doing that. And then we're going to head to the fourth marker. Now the fourth marker, we're going to be going through a teleporter, but a red wolf of Radagon is going to spawn in. So just run to the teleporter and go through it. Right here, let's kill this. Crimson Scarab. Maybe the Dragonfly if we can. Never mind. It's just being annoying. Not even going to bother with it. Go ahead and drink our Wondrous Flask of Physic. Summon in our Mimic tier. Buff ourselves. And then we have an Erd Tree Avatar. It's a putrid one, so be careful for, for Scarlet Rot. Nice. The Mimic tier is putting in some work. So for killing the Ur Tree Avatar, we're going to get a Thorny Crack tier and a Ruptured Crystal tier. Let's go ahead and put a couple more markers down. Our first one's going to be right over here. Second one's going to be right over here. And then the third one will be right over about, if I can ever line it up here, there. Fourth one will be over here. And then lastly, the fifth one will be right there. We're going to come down over here to the southwest. We have an item we can scoop up. I like to hop off right here and kill these guardians. And then if we come over here, we have a summoning pool. Oh, my Mimic tier didn't take care of that guy. Let's 
So before we go to that first marker, we're going to come over here, grab ourselves some Dragon Wound Grease. That honestly, I have not been using on the dragons. I don't know why. We get a somber smithing stone nine for killing that invisible scarab. And then up top here. Wait for it to roll off if you can. Get a somber smithing stone eight. Come to the top here. Knock it off. And then get a somber smithing stone seven. So we ended up getting a seven, eight, and nine. Now we're going to start making our way down this slope, heading southwest to south. And then we want to head straight toward this cliffside because we're going to be activating another summoning pool. Let's pull our bow out. It's going to come in handy luring this crab. By the way, I know that there's an item up there, but we're not going to get it just yet. We're going to be coming back for that item. Probably in the next video. Right here is what we're trying to lure the crab over to. Want it to break that statue. Poor Torrent. Torrent's getting beat up today. I'm getting beat up today. Be really careful. This crab will inflict sleep. Sleep is not a fun ailment. Uh, we didn't even need to hop back on Torrent. I'm sorry, Torrent. We're going to kill this land octopus. like to open this up first. We're getting ready to fight a magma worm, but I like to open this up first so I can rest at the grace and get my wondrous flask of physic back. So go ahead and rest at it. If you want, that is. You don't have to, but I would advise it. We're about to fight a pretty tough magma worm in my opinion so what I like to do is stagger this guy and then after I get done staggering staggering him I will drink my flask Let's go ahead and drink a flask and then kill him And then we get a flask back. Pretty cool, right? Let's go ahead and buff ourselves. Summon in our mimic tier. And then we want our dragon rot breath on. Anything to make this fight easier. Put it that way. Go 
ahead and buff ourselves again. I try not to lock on to him once I get the dragon rot on him. Oh, good job. My mimic tier, man, is putting in more work than me today. Really is the MVP. So for killing the magma worm, we're going to get three dragon hearts along with a new draconic power. Go ahead and get rid of that marker. And then we are going to come up here to get ourselves a fifth ancient dragon smithing stone. Well, it could be your fourth, depending on if you bought the ancient dragon stone from that guy or not over by Nefeli Lu. We're going to rest at this grace once again. Go ahead and activate this summoning pool. Take this guy out. And then over here, I wouldn't advise anybody doing this area just because it's, it's bullshit. <laughs> I'm just going to call it as it is. It's bullshit. You get a freezing grease over here. That's it. So for fighting all of this, you're going to get a freezing grease. And just a single freezing grease at that. So yeah. All that work for essentially nothing. In my opinion. Who knows? Freezing grease might be very valuable to you. Over here, take this guy out, and we have another big boy. Grab some nascent butterfly. Golden Ruin 10. And then right up here, you can come over here to this rock, jump over to this ledge, jump over again, jump up, keep jumping up, and get ourselves a Hero Ruin 2. Definitely worth grabbing that. And over here, we're going to have two big guys, so be very careful. Just focus on the big guys. Don't even focus on the one that's flying. I wouldn't, at least. Knock him out of the air. Come over here for a rune arc and some spirit flame arrows. So yeah, another area that if you don't feel like dealing with all that nonsense, just skip it. I'm gonna backtrack over here. And then veer off to the right. Pick up all these Mikola's lilies if you want. And then we're going to hop down here. Just follow this path down. And 
then we're almost done. Just got to get past these jellyfish. Grab some bolluses. And then we're going to hop down right here. Roll. And then roll again right here. Pick ourselves up some more freezing grease because we don't have enough. Am I right? And then we are at the boss. Go ahead and heal yourself. Put on your Wondrous Flask of Physic. And then summon in your Mimic Tier. Or whatever you're using that is. This guy isn't hard at all. I get hit in the face. Like, he's not hard. And then he just smacks me in the face. It's amazing. It's the only hit he got in, though. So for killing him, we get the Golden Order Greatsword. Good stuff. That is a legendary sword, by the way. You're going to need it for a, an achievement. We're going to fast travel to the inner consecrated snowfield. I'll see everybody over there. All righty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, good afternoon, or good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.